It is week three of summer cyclocross and thanks to Liz, we've got a four day weekend. And my number one fan slash camera lady, who's not even paying any attention, is gonna come and watch today. So big up Liz for the four day weekend. And most importantly, Rocket, how long do you think I can stay with Paul Lloyd for? Last week, last week was four minutes, I think. That's a, that's a solid stint. Let's try five. She'll be happy with five minutes. But I'm gonna spin over there in a minute. It's about a 45 minute ride, smash cross, and then a picnic to finish it off. What a day. Into on again. This is a prime athlete right here. So last weekend, Ben won. Was it round four of the National Mountain Bike Series race? So we have potentially a national champion on our hands. No pressure because I'm not capable of that sort of stuff. How, when's national champ? In two months, maybe. In two months. In two months, we could have a national champ on our hands. So don't let team fourth down. I'm going to be able to make a clickbait video that I'm like riding with a national champion. <laughs> How are you feeling today? On four. On four. Oh, oh, no pressure then. Go on, Ben. Nice, boys. Let's go, come on, do that. The storm is coming, but I'm prepared. Good lad, stay on it. I'll be gone for a while, but don't be scared. Let's go, boys, come on. Right now, I don't know if I'll ever. Go on, then, last lap. At, at least make it look like you're trying. This is a social ride. Come on. 20 minutes for a 200 meter track sprint. Sarah said she reckoned she could have beat them. You did, you said look how slow they're going. Looks like they're out for a cafe ride. A little cafe, cafe ride. The rocket would have would have won that. Did road miles yesterday. Did road miles. <laughs> Heard it all. Done road miles over it. So sum it up, how'd it go? Good. Good. Oh, so that's all that matters where you come. I've done a practice lap, it looks like my worst nightmare, it's all like flat drags, but it's going to be a good training session. Well, they're not flat, are they? They're like just long, in the middle. yeah, long draggy sections, which my little noodle legs do not handle well. Look at this athlete, bag of popcorn, you legendary athlete right there, mm. and, and a chocolate bar. Hardly. I'd say that's a chocolate bar peak athlete right there here we go then the usual full gas start and i get a lesson in cyclocross race starts here this is absolutely savage start so it's full gas into this first corner look wham bam thank you ma'am squeezed out ducks the shoulder in quality move hands down and then next corner i'll get chopped and squeezed out again our hands down, two quality moves. That's what it's all about, elbow to elbow. I've been absolutely schooled there. Shoulder dipped on the first corner, next corner chopped on the inside. You've got to love it. But then round this corner, coming down the fast back straight, and I was like, actually, this pace isn't too bad. The first like 20 seconds was full gas, and then down here, it sort of eased up a bit, and I was like, if it stays like this, this won't be too bad, but I'm going to play you the naughty little overtake there. I'm going to play you the full first lap and a half, <clears throat> just so you can see it, get a real good feel for it. But this is the course, long draggy sections today, so grass drag all the way down to the bottom, and then we turn into this left-hander in a second, and my heart rate's not too bad at the moment, but in a minute it spikes up because we have to go back up this drag and I do feel it here it gets pretty f full gas up this little drag look out the saddle giving it the beans getting up to speed and this bit was pretty full on up here every time and there was this really awkward little section just here it like dips down and then there's like a rabbit hole or a pothole or something and you just like hit it and it stops you dead but we loop back round back down to the bottom bit and I think all of us the four that are us that you can see here, the three in front of me, are probably all thinking now, 
When's Paul Lloyd going to come past like an absolute steam train and destroy us? Because we know it is going to happen. But I see a gap opening to quickly nip past, shut that gap down. And I know a big draggy section's coming now. So you don't really want to be on the front because there's a headwind here. And <clears throat> the speeds we're doing, we're going up to like 20 mile an hour. But I think it is just here where Paul Lloyd comes past like a steam train. Look at him and I'm like, you've got to jump on that because my lady's watching this week and she said she wanted five minutes with a front of the race. So I'm like, you got to shut that down, jump straight on it. And I did, I managed to shut it down, but this put me in a serious hole. Like from feeling like half decent at the start of a cyclocross race, which is a surprise, to be in an absolute world of hurt. And you're gonna get a lesson in cross from Paul Lloyd here. So I'm gonna show you this whole bit. Out of every corner, watch this, bang, he's on it. Power, power, power. And it is relentless. Every corner he comes out of, it's again, snaps, kicks, puts down the power. And there's only so many times, personally myself, I can repeat that. The man has just got some power. Look, he'll come out this corner, He's snapped back up to speed. It's this next one he does. It's a tight corner, speed drops, and then straight away, bang, he's out of the saddle, getting back up to speed, round the next corner, and same again. And that is what cross is like, that high spike, and then you might get a bit of recovery in the corners. But the way I see it is, you can see us coming down through these corner sections here. So there's three of us, <clears throat> there's three of us away with a tiny bit of a gap. It's like next to nothing, but we're only on the first lap. I'm obviously deep in a hole, but you can see here, we come back out of this corner now. In a second, it'll pan back to my camera, and you'll just see out of this corner, bang. And every time for me, the elastic stretches, and there's only so many times I can repeat these top end efforts, but I know I've just got to survive five or six minutes to make the lady happy. But look, same again, out this corner, out the saddle, bang, 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 and it hurts. And like I was saying, it's like them efforts, like 15 seconds hard, you get a bit of recovery here when you're not pedaling, and bang, it goes again. But what I see from this is how important having like a high threshold is, because the higher your threshold, the more times you're able to repeat these absolutely savage attacks out of each corner. If the lower your threshold, these attacks are like, if I had a power meter on, they are on way over my threshold, way over VO2 max. I know I'm getting a break, but it's like that 15 seconds massive explosion. And then you've got to keep on the power, keep doing it. But it's, it's really impressive when I get to sit here and watch how like these top riders do it. I'm gonna say now, you can imagine I didn't stay with him the whole race, the front of the race, and you can just see these little gaps opening, and once they start opening, I know I'm already on the limit, but it's amazing that I've got this footage and I can see, look, out the corner, bang, 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 straight back up to speed, and he's just relentlessly putting the hurt on me. And look, look at that gap that's opening up and you can't let that sort of gap open. I'm sort of relying on the fact that he's gonna slow down for this corner and I might be able to carry a bit more speed into it, shut down the gap a little bit. But as soon as he comes out of it again, it's bang, straight back up to speed, straight putting the power on off. I think I shut the gap down here, but I really, really put myself in a hole shutting this gap down up the drag. And you want to try with everything you've got to stay on his wheel because you sort of know one you're going to get dragged around two you're going to be at the front of the race and everyone wants to win but there's also that little little bit in your head that says if you carry on going for this the other 30 minutes of this race are going to be over so you can see there the gap open james come round me shut it and this is when i knew for me, it was just going to be totally game over. Out of this corner, I needed to be glued to their wheel into this headwind. And I wasn't. A gap had opened. And I just didn't have the power to be shutting that down. But mad impressive. If you take anything from this video, it's just that power you need out of the corners. Every time you've got a 
bang, smash it, get up to speed, and you've got to be able to deal with these repeatable, absolutely savage efforts. It's so impressive to me, and I watch it and I think, how can I close that gap down? Because it hurts so much. But you've got to keep working and keep doing it. So from here, coming through the next few corners, I'm coming into lap two. You can see them on the left, and instantly they've opened up a pretty big gap on me. And really, I'm in no man's land now. So I'm off the back of them two, and I know I'm not going to be able to shut it down. And you can see just on the left, that's a group of three that are trying to close it down. You can see the two guys on front and then Sarah telling me I've got, I think it was a 13 second behind and I knew I wasn't going to close down. And then the three that were chasing me. And really now, I was just, I was in no man's land. I was trying to do everything I could. And this little section here was where I could work out if they were gaining on me. So you can see the three riders behind. And the worst thing is, <clears throat> I'm just a carrot being dangled now and I'm in a world of hurt just because that first six minutes for my lady put me in a hole. But you can see here, I was maintaining the gap for a while. I've jumped on a lap, you could see him on the right. And then obviously the two guys, are, look at the power they've got, straight out the corner, straight on it, mad impressive. And I'm just doing whatever I can to hold the three at bay now. And you can see just through here, they're all getting turns on the front. And I think that was my problem. Here's the guys at the front. Real, that is a real good battle, them two. I'll show, there's some good clips at the end. Me just weaving through. And as I was saying, I think they were taking turns on the front, which made it easy. Look at the power they're putting down. And you'll see this next clip from me. Look at my high cadence. It's just not suited. When you watch... Paul Lloyd and James come past you like look at that power they're pressing down through the pedals and driving through the grass and then you watch my cadence a minute ago and that high cadence I think that's where I've just been doing so much road riding but just here I'm going to leave this clip playing you see I went through and then you're going to see the chasing group that I'm trying to hold off I think they were at it's here the three of them it was probably only 10 seconds and that can be shut down in the blink of an eye. But trying to hold them off, being the carrot, I was pushing the pace on the corners and you'll see here, I come round this one. Oh, I almost went down, little dab of the foot to save it. And those little mistakes <coughs> costing you a second here, second there. And just coming round here now, I could see that they had already gone through this section on the right, two of them and we're closing the gap, so I knew I was in for a hard challenge, but the two guys out front, this was a mega battle, look at this, this is what it's about, look at them going for it, elbow to elbow, one lap to go, get in there my son, I love to see it, they were absolutely putting the hammer on each other, and then I'm coming through here, Sarah's lovely commentary, if you didn't hear that, they're catching you, Thanks for that, babe. I know, I'm hanging on for dear life at this point. But we've got one lap to go. I'll leave this footage. So there's first, third me, and there are the two chasing me. They're on my wheel now. I can see them. Up here is when Jamie caught me, and I knew he was on my wheel because I could hear his bottom bracket squeaking away. And I just thought the best thing I can do is, because I'm already on the limit, the best thing I can do is just keep pushing as hard as I can. It's the only way I know how. If he comes round me and attacks me, I can't go any faster than this. This is me on the rivet right now. And coming down here, I'm thinking, is he going to go past? And I might be able to get a little bit of slipstream. But he played a smart game here. He let me stay on the front. And I knew... Just here, coming up this long drag, he was back, he was glued to my wheel, and I'm thinking, when's he gonna go? When's he gonna go? Come on, we've got half a lap. When he does go, you've got to try and go with it, but the legs just didn't quite have that snap at the end of the race, which was a little bit disappointing. Just here, I think it is about now yet. Yeah, you see him poke in, he puts the hammer down, puts me in an absolute hole and I just didn't quite have the legs to go with it. I'm going to keep this little bit of footage running so you can see that gap he put into me straight away. 
Okay. And we were coming up to some back markers and I was sort of thinking I need to get past them before this corner and I didn't quite do it. So just coming round here, <clears throat> I had to negotiate a few lapped riders, which isn't a problem. We're all here racing each other, so trying to find a line. So I squeeze through and I managed to keep him just in distance where I'm like, I could shut this down, I could shut this down. He's only a couple of seconds, so you never give up. You've always got to keep pressing on the pedals because all it takes is one little slide here, one little foot down, one little slip, and I'm back in the game battling for third. So I'm like, do not give up, do not give up, keep working, you can just see him there. But closing that gap down, it looks like nothing. But when you're both going full speed, it is super hard to shut it down. And then I'm thinking, I've got to just keep pressing on here. Got to press on. But jumping on, this is the last little clip now of the leaders coming through while we're still slogging out behind. They were full gas at each other the whole race. Quality battle and a sprint finish to finish it off. James got it, then Paul second. And then we're just coming into the final few corners. I mean, look how close I am to third. But that looks close. But shutting it down is just... I just didn't quite have it and coming out of this final corner I knew I knew it was game over Jamie pipped me at the end he came through in third place and I had to settle for fourth place this week absolutely mega race full gas it was flat out throughout I'll pop some of the stats on the screen I think we were like we must have been averaging like over 25k an hour, which is fast on like grass surface and drags and it was just full on the whole race. No rest, but I think I ple Rocket, did I please my lady? Six minutes with the front. She's yeah. giving me a little nod of approval and a yes. <laughs> Six minutes, boy. But that's the thing. Like I watch it back and I'm like, how can I close that gap down to these front boys? And it is just about keep putting in the work, keep training hard. And I do feel that if I keep doing that and I keep trying to go with them at the front at the start of the race, it's only going to get better each week, each week. If not, if Paul Lloyd does ever watch any of these videos, which I don't think he's got the time because he's probably out training to smash us, please just slow down a little bit for me. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you take anything from this, I'd love to... I want to find out what Paul Lloyd does for training because them relentless attacks are brutal and that is what you've got to be good at in cyclocross. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.